Yo, I'm ready to put my wheels on. Don't film my content, bro. No one still gets the joke. I, no one ever, no one wants to move. <laughs> I always forget. Dang. Look at our wheels. Both of ours. Me and you. Get your f <laughs> Have you seen that video? There's a woman on a bus and her hand's there and some guy like puts his hand on her hand and she goes, she doesn't look at him, she goes, <laughs> and looks at that so is funny. funny. That must be a TikTok. No, no, it's old. Well, we got put some it in wheels. The video. Put it in the video. All right, I'll put the I'll put the video, even though I don't know what it is. I'll put it right here. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> but I'm gonna get these to my side. The Z that I don't have right now is gonna look good. All right, guys. So the 370 wheels came in. These are 57 DRs, 18, nine and a half with a 22 offset. So let's see what happens here. I decided to go with a decent wheel, so I'm pretty stoked. Probably gonna ruin them though. You ready for this? They look sick already. Dang. Oh, yeah. These are good. Dang, the black looks. Fire, dude, come on. These are sick. These are sick. We got eight of these suckers. So I have four spares, which I'm insanely, insanely pumped about. Sadly, I don't have tires or the car right now, so we can't really do much with them. But I am hyped on this, dude. Nice and light, too. Absolutely hyped. Yeah, are they light? Yeah. Dang, they're not bad. This is sick. I'm so Those hyped on these. Sick. I think this is gonna look so good with the silver. Oh yeah. Damn, dude, just feel they them. Feel it feels so, so good. Soft. You can just fucking rub them. This is probably the first video on the internet. People rubbing wheels, rub one off, you know? Yep. All right, well, we gotta- Two off right now. <laughs> we gotta get all eight wheels in here, so let's do that. Dang, this is the most wheels that I've ever bought at one time. I am so hyped, hopefully, you guys understand kind of the level we're trying to achieve with the 370Z. At this point, we have every single thing ordered for the 370Z. Um, we're not gonna be doing rated off rip. We have a plan, don't worry, just stay tuned for it. But um, we got the wheels, we got all of the parts, the cage is being done. Um, sadly, the cage should be done today, but to get the harness bar absolutely perfect for like my setup and stuff, um, he needed the seat that I was using for the car, so. That, we actually shipped that from Drift HQ today with the seat bracket and harness. That should be at the fabricator by Wednesday. He said the harness bar should only take him like 30 minutes. So come Wednesday, um, we get the 370Z back. That gives me an opportunity to order some tires for these. So when we get the 370 back, we can actually put the new wheels on. I'm probably gonna need a spacer. I played it safe with a 22 offset and um, it should be pretty good. And if we need to space it out more, I'm, I'm not a bot hurt. Like, I'll run a spacer all day, so we're pretty good there. I'm stoked, really fucking stoked. Well guys, it doesn't look like crazy progress. Ignore my hat, we're working outside and it's currently nine degrees out. But um, yeah, it looks like a disaster right now, but we're getting everything in motion to kind of be more efficient, trying to be more clean. Mine and Will's biggest problem is like, we'll clean, it'll look nice. And like a week later, we're doing so many things, we're just focused on the daily vlog that like we, we stop like picking things up. So we're really trying to like organize every shelf per car. Like we're trying to do a lot of stuff. Like this is 240, that's mostly 240. That's all Roadster. Um, blueberries over there, we got the Ruckus. Um, we haven't figured that at, out yet. Those are all the new wheels for the 370. Will is currently taking the shelf all apart in here. So we can actually start to figure out how much room we actually have in here, how we're actually gonna build this into a room because I wanna build it into a room because if we're sandblasting in there, we don't wanna get sand and everywhere and dust all in the shop. So we're gonna have to try to close that off and plus the compressor's gonna be there too so it's gonna be very loud. But we, we deleted um, that night shelf which was stupid, the nightstand that we should have deleted a long time ago. We got all the chargers here and stuff. This is all of the stuff that needs powder coated and sandblasted and under it is the things that we have done. Huh? Did you say we should have deleted the nightstand? We deleted the nightstand, yeah. We quick released it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, we also have to move all of this stuff 
And because this is exactly where the compressor is going, the dryer is going to go right there and the sandblaster is going to go against this wall. So as much as I wanted to keep this shelf, um, sadly, we just don't have enough room. And with the room that we're making right now, um, we should be okay. So I don't know. Sorry for all the talking, but there's a lot of stuff going on. I just want to kind of keep you guys updated through it. And um, it's going good. Um, we're not going to have a video for today, which is we're not going to have a video for Tuesday. But you guys know we're working hard, so I think you'll be happy. So we have been hard at work. We've been really trying to organize the shop, like I've been saying, and you can see that there is so much freaking space in here. We actually have like shelving. Like when I first put everything around the shop, the shelf was supposed to be for like, if the car was here, you take the parts off, you put it on here, and then when you put it back together, the parts are just right there. And over time, I just keep getting more shit. I don't need all this shit, but I'm a hoarder and I can't get rid of it. Sorry, sue me. Here we have, we finally cleared this out. Will got this, all the shelving out. And as you can see from the little montage, um, it's all thrown away and um, taken care of. This is gonna stay like this for now. Tommy's currently still using the air compressor until his new one is um, routed. But the idea is the air compressor is gonna go right here. We have to build a wall from this pillar back, a wall here, and then just a ceiling. And um, this is just literally gonna be a tiny sandblaster room. Like, I don't even know where we're gonna put the dryer. Um, part of me kind of wants to put the sandblaster against this wall and then put the air compressor right there and then we can have the dryer here. I mean, it's gonna be really tight, it's gonna be really cramped, but at the end of the day, the only thing we're using this for is sandblasting. And um, this sandblaster, it's not the best thing in the world, but I think he sold it to me for like 150 bucks or something cheap, and um, it works. But um, a lot of seals are bad and stuff, so it does get a little sandy. Although, we're gonna probably fix the seals, um, we need to create like some sort of vent system. Um, Tommy said that pipe thing right there doesn't really go to anything. So we can, um, I'm not gonna do shit actually. I'm gonna, we're gonna hire someone to do this, but I want to make a hole right here, have like a nice high powered fan that's like sucking the air out. So it's not super sandy and that goes right outside and we can plumb that. It's definitely a lot of work. I definitely don't even know who's gonna do it yet, but you guys can see we're making some fucking progress. Um, the 370Z, it should be done today as well. So I'm really excited to get that back um, tomorrow morning and we can actually start putting the interior back in. I'm really excited to show you the cage. He's been showing me pictures along the way and it looks absolutely killer. If you're part of the Patreon, you kind of already know what's going down. But if you're not, you'll find out tomorrow. No big deal. How's your elbow? Um, it hurts. Yo, bust a tail whip right now. Let's see it. Tail whip? Yep, tail whip. I'm just gonna call out tricks. Oh my God, you suck. Hold on, hold on, that was terrible. That's why. Dude! <laughs> you suck, I bro. I, the, I wish I could do a I wish I can show you up. Oh my god. I could have done a fakey whip faster than you could have done that. Well, I, I, ready? I could do this better. Let's see. Wow, do that again. Not bad. Yeah. Little toe drag, but it's fine. Do a bar spin. I knew you sucked at bar spins. Do it again. <laughs> Do a 180 bar. 
That wasn't bad. Dude, me and Cam, all right, I'll tell you guys a little story. Me and Cam, like every day after school, we would just chill at Walgreens. I'm not even joking, for like four or five hours and they just had this curb. And we got so good to like fakie tricks that I was at the point where I was like 180ing fakie down the sidewalk to like bar, to fakie whip, to still roll back to like 180 whip off the curb. It probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but this is giving me yeah. some throwback vibes. No, that's dumb. You can't do that. No puss hops. Yeah, you ain't got it, dude. Maybe I'm so pit like. It sucks that my ankle's garbage because like I can't, I can't even do a confident 180. You want to see how sad my life is? I know. Like, if only we could play a game of scoot right now. Like my wrist is kind of like. My wrist is hurting. You're, you say that every day, dude. Bro. It's it's been hurt for like a dude, month. This sucks. That wasn't that bad. No. That was scared. Like the, the problem is I'm just scared. Like I can't throw a whip. For sure not. That's all I got. I don't know what else I can do. Bar? Because if I fall, I'm fucked. Or if you hit your ankle with a whip or something, you're screwed. Look at you. you got, you're getting me in trouble here. I'm getting caught. I'm Pretty good. This is fun, dude. Ooh, that's dude, too no, scary. Is that's... it? I was going to say, it looked pretty good. Yeah, but I, I had All no right, 180, 180 bar. Nope. I'm good. <laughs> I'm definitely good on that. I used to like inward whips, dude. I used to be pretty good at this shit. I haven't done one of those. I feel like I've made it. Like yeah. I can't believe I can do Baby bar is still. Ooh, that was sketchy. Ooh, that hurt my ankle so bad. Ooh, that hurt. I'm done. Not a breath. Gotta get back on that Peloton. Yeah. Dude, I'm pretty stoked though. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm a lot better than I thought I could be. That was pretty good. Woo! All right. Sorry for the scootering. Do one more trick for them. Go. One more. Uh, I'll try this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Well, kind of perfect timing. As soon as we got done organizing the shop, um, the fabricator got back to me and he said the Z is done. So we're currently here right now. We're gonna go pick it up and um, throw it on the icy trailer. Hopefully everything works out. Alright guys, so I wasn't going to show you in this video, but I feel like there wasn't much going on. We showed you the stop, wheels. Stop stacking. So Dude, I stop. didn't even post yesterday. I, they know I ain't stacking now, but let's be real. You like the shop right now. It looks pretty good. It's a lot more empty. I don't think it looks good. What? Dude, can you just this give me like something? AIDS. We're not done. I want to get like tire racks. We got to build some shit. Dan, you, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to show you guys this cage before we ended the video. He did a killer job. This thing is so sick. And yes, we did the intrusion bars, so don't worry yeah, about it. Can stop bitching. Yeah, he was actually like, he told me that he was going to have to pull the dash. I was like, ah, oh, we'll can wait. I, can I say something? Yeah. Everyone's bitching you about intrusion bars. Sir, Adam LZ does not have a roll cage in his 350Z. See, I have to look at a Z. There's no way he doesn't have a roll cage in that. He did like that. competitions and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's orange. I think he has an orange cage. There was no, I asked him, there was no roll cage in Adam LZ's car. And he's like, you need the intrusion bars. No, like you do. Why do I? But your viewer, no, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do it, do it, whatever. But like. I'm not, I'm, I'm happy I did it, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely stoked about it. Adam doesn't have a, R32, Adam's drifted it, doesn't have a cage. Yeah, but his main drift cars, like his E36 sure. got but a full cage. that's not the point. What? That's not the point. Yeah. If you drift a car, 
And people are giving you shit about intrusion bars, which is me. You know what those are for? Yeah, so if you're like, you snap your lower control arm you or something. Hold the wheel up at 100 miles an hour. Yeah, like you gotta really fuck up the ass. <laughs> you gotta be going fast. Yeah, it's cool. The, the guy did a sick job. Yeah, no, I mean, if, if, he say, if you're saying he did a sick job, he did a pretty fucking I good just, job. I hate roll cages. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's definitely annoying to get in and out. Like, the, my seat or anything is not bolted yet, but like. It's I just a full cage. He could have just not done the door bar so out. Uh, so he asked me. He said that he can um, make this a little lower, but like usually the standard issue is this high. I just said make it as safe as possible. Oh, it makes sense because if it's lower, the car can come up over it. Yeah. If, if you're low and a car hits you, you can come up over yeah. it. Yeah. He said some people prefer like maybe this like two more inches down or something, but I said just make it but as I safe as possible. But I wonder if he could have made it straight because it's the seat doesn't get in the way. Um, I think that one might be annoying for your elbow. I think this gives you like the maximum room for drifting, you know? Oh, yeah. Like I think you'd have a better chance. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but you have a better chance of not hitting anything Is right it all there. MIG, MIG welded? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. Dude, for a half a week, insane turnaround. Just say three days or four days. A half a week. What? Why are you always going to critique Friday me, dude? Wednesdays has almost... Yeah, Friday. but he needed the seat. If I had the seat... Oh, then yeah, yeah. It Can was you... done Monday. He finished a harness bar today. Can you put the door sills back in? Yeah, he said I'm probably going to have to cut half of it. No, the door sill. Oh, I would assume so. Why not? It's not hitting it. It's, it's, oh, okay. Yeah, so I think. I'm going to put as much interior as we can back in it. We'll take as much out before you paint it. I mean, yeah, we can. What color are you painting? Gray. Gray? Gray. What is gray? Silver? Gray. Ooh. Silver isn't gray. What are you talking about? Like gray. Like dull, a little more dull than that. So your definition of gray is not shiny. It's just gray. What the fuck are you talking about? This is silver gray. Isn't that crazy? No, that's not gray. What is not gray? This is not gray. No shit, it's silver! That is gray. Yeah, that's gray. Okay. So you're gonna paint it that color? Yeah. Why not paint it silver? Just fuck off, I want it gray. So you're gonna do Nardo gray. Why not black? I don't know if it's exactly <laughs> Nardo gray. It's <laughs> just gray, paint, bro. Huh? Gray Steal guy. it from Amazon. Oh. Yeah, it's like, oh. it's it's spray paint, but there's like metal in it the paint. It's really expensive. It's Benson, super expensive. powder coat it. Yeah, how are you gonna do that? No, you can powder coat steel it. I'm not saying you're. Oh, paint. oh, oh, if oh. If you spray steel it on something, you can then powder yeah, coat it. Yeah, it's cool because you don't really need to prep a surface or anything. Like, it just sprays. It's, Perfect for you and Will. Exactly. Like, I've sprayed it a bit. Like, make sure like you mask off everything. Yeah. It will overspray everything. Yeah, we definitely need masks it's tomorrow thick. for sure because it, like, you don't want the metals in your lungs and shit. Wear the Home Depot bag. That's it. That's my favorite thing. So, but, what's your video? You? Well, what has been your video? Why you want to make fun of it? No, I'm asking. I showed him my I showed him my wheels. I I showed him my wheels. I cleaned up the shop and showed oh. him the cage. But you keep interrupting me, so I couldn't even show it. Hey man, <laughs> I, I didn't tell you to take the camera off. <laughs> well, you were in here, and I was already planning on filming here. But yeah, this is sick. I'm super hyped on it. Like I said in a previous video, um, I decided not to run a headliner because um, he said it'd be better off because he can really get super close Dude, to the roof. Gross. That's like quarter of an inch. Yeah, you can't even not fit a even, finger up there. Not even. Can't even fit a finger. So it might even be an eighth of an inch. That's so, it definitely sucks that I can't run a headliner, but at the end of the day, I'd much rather just deal with that you know, than having to bang my head, huh? When we drive this down to Florida like this. I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah. What's wrong with it? I hope I don't get pulled over. It's gonna look a little sus. What? Full cage and everything. You can't see it with like everything closed up. Until you get pulled over and they look in there. Well, what's going yeah, on in here? Before you what's go. this half spray painted shit job you got going on in here? <laughs> it's gonna be so sick when you get to Virginia and lose all your oil pressure. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are shit talkers. His Z broke and he's like, you better hope this doesn't happen to yours. No, like it's gonna happen to yours. Based if, on if what I saw in already. there, like, oh my god. How no. do you know you get low oil pressure? You you get you go into limp mode because because of low oil pressure. So like you had a code and it kind of told you that. So those galleries with the superseded gaskets, every single one of those screws was like finger tight. Someone already tried to do something in there, but it wasn't that. How bad of a job was it? Took you all well, day. All day just take it apart. It's not even back together. Yet. Was oh, like, it's I not like, done. I had to take it apart and prep to put it back together. I started like eleven. So if I said will do this, how long will you give them? Uh, this is one thirty-five. One hundred and seventeen days. I mean, okay, I'm sorry. His one seven or his one thirty five when he worked on it. 
So, it's about as 20 expensive. days. Like it's really, yeah, I would say expensive. it's about as expensive. Whole front end comes off. It's really expensive. You got to do the timing. Like it's the same. Yeah, it's I'm not into timing also. chains. I've honestly have never done a timing chain. I've done an LS so one. So I was guess it. now look at it. You do have to do the timing chain because you have to take that gear off. But you wouldn't have had to if that one bolt wasn't behind that gear. Yep. Could have just done the gallery gaskets. Oh, there's there's one screw. Let's just hope mine's not bad. Well, right now it's not. Right now she's shred. Is this an 09? Yeah. They fix it in 15. Oh, that's annoying. So somebody <laughs> might have done that. Dude, 190K, there's a good chance somebody did it. Hopefully, all right. Yeah, I, yeah. Maybe I can just ask him. Maybe he'll know the previous owner. But, yeah, what guys. Wheels on? Dude, I went to Tire Rack. Grant was right. I didn't go, but I looked online. They got shit. No one has anything. I know. It's kind of annoying because of the scary. whole compression in America, you know? Yeah. I, I couldn't say the real word, so it's I just... Sam, yeah, I bought Sam. Yeah, fuck Sam. Did you just find kidding. Anything? I'm just kidding, Sam. Don't worry, I'm kidding. Did huh? you find anything? Nothing that I liked. I mean, there's always something, but nothing that I want to run. Grant gave me some places to look. I'm kind of bummed because I'd love to put the wheels on, but I just don't have any fucking tires. Dude, I'm going to put my wheels on real soon. Sooner than you, maybe. Okay. Or no, because when you find tires, I'm just be like, yo, get me some. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just wait because he's going to need tires and then I'll be like, yo, let's get those. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah I'll hook you up. <laughs> but anyways guys you get the point cage it's fucking done it looks sick as hell tomorrow will and i we have a big job it's an aesthetic mod it's not an aesthetic mod it it's definitely not <laughs> it looks so sick it definitely looks good but we got a lot of work to do tomorrow we got to paint this whole thing we got to did you amazon the shit already yeah i have it at my house good to oh, go no shit. good to fucking go away how much would you charge you to paint it i don't know it's gonna look primer gray because it's steel. It. Yeah. So it's just gonna be like primer. Yeah, but most of it's gonna be covered anyways with interior panels. That's I really just care about cage. the rust. I don't know how you're gonna do that. Dude, it's a drift car. I don't care about this thing like you care about yours. You should have flocked it. You I can't wait to crash more. in your fucking door. Keep an AC and shit. Yeah, I'm keeping fucking AC. I want to be. We figured cool. out why you have yeah. to keep AC. <laughs> huh? The condenser and the radiator are like one piece. Cool. Really? That's why you. That's why you have to keep. That's it. the difference. So one doesn't have. Oh, so you're keeping yours. No, I'm gonna get in a condenser and build my own aftermarket. But so he doesn't care about that. his. Oh. I'm gonna spend the time to build a AC shit, but I don't just care about my car. You just get an but I don't care about it. I can't wait to total his car. Yeah. I'm just gonna total it. Now I'm gonna do it. I don't give a fuck. I got a bash bar. <laughs> <laughs> now that I got a bash bar, I'm gonna hit you and it's gonna be fine. You have a jack point. No, it's a whole bash bar in there. There's a bumper there, though. I didn't even tell them. It's got a fucking bash bar. I didn't even ask him to make me this, and he made it. Fucking sick. But, all right, this is going on too How's long. How's the bash bar? Oh, we're going to find out when like it's in its fucking door. Bash bar, though. If All you bash... It's going to get ripped off for the point where you even <laughs> need it. No, it will, it will save the frame. The whole the structure no, of the car. No, no, no. If, if you have a bash bar and it gets hit hard, it damages the structure of the car. The reason we're going to find the, out. For the stock crash bars, it crushes and will save the chassis. Listen, we're going to find what out. What you have doesn't save the chassis. Eventually, we're going to find out what it's going to do. You're going to go backwards. I saw you spin it out in the fucking bank 400 times with the fucking thing. Sorry, dude. You can go backwards in the fucking wall. I was trying to fucking reverse entries, dude. No. I <laughs> to fucking link it. You it's hard. 270R doesn't agree with Dude, you looped out a hundred times as well that day. Yeah. Fuck off. Not what is he trying to prove? Not Dude, the bank. I was I kept wiping out because I run that shallow and he was there freaking me out. Cause you're pissing me off now. <laughs> Calling me out. If you wanna go, let's go right now. With what? We'll take our cars out and we'll My go. Engine we'll is go do some. <laughs> <laughs> There's engine parts everywhere. Look at my car got Start it up, dude. At a hundred. <laughs> <Start laughs> oh over. my god, am I filming? I don't care. You can. Okay. It looks oh. like my car hit a tree at a hundred. Huh? Dang, are you guys already welding shit? Or is this stock? That's stock. This looks like weird. Looks like a fucking. It's like a Lamborghini. <laughs> so. Oh my there's god, like this thing's an engine missing. There's the front. This oh. thing's apart, dude. Dude, like you can see all the way through the head, like between the heads and shit. Jeez. That's where are. What's all the way back there? Coolant pipe. Oh, what if that it's leaks? <laughs> what if that <laughs> thing leaks? You're fucked. How crazy is this? Though? Doing the, ti the timing change, there's three. 
There's three timing chains. Three timing chains, one for each head and then one main one. So this cover inside, this Those is the, the gallery. Galleries. This is the old paper gasket. All these things were like finger tight. And there's another one there. I think that's well, the someone one. just did it wrong then, right? I don't know. I think, they done. Can, I think they can just back out on their own. Then well, why wouldn't you just lock tight it and torx back it? And then it would never back out now. Because the paper fails. So oh. we have metal gaskets now. Oh. So the new, the update. So that's the problem. It was leaking? It leaks. So what it does when it leaks, it lower, it causes low oil pressure because it leaks into the front. Gotcha. And then VTC doesn't work. And that's and, why you're in limp mode because it's got low oil pressure. Doesn't so want these you to are rage like it. diff gaskets now. So they're huh. metal with like that same thing. So they're not just a shitty paper. Look at all the timing shit. I think I'd rather just replace the engine. I <laughs> know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Look at all the timing shit. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Yeah. There's two tension. Or are those tensioners? What the fuck are those things? Guides. Oh, those are my those are VTC gears. Or VTC cylinders. This looks worse than the 135. I'm going to be real with you. It does. <laughs> it does. It's it not, looks fun. It has three chains. I know. That's not that bad. You said earlier, like, this sucks. It does suck. It's not, <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've needed yeah. zero special tool. I really think an engine swap is easier. Yeah, so oh, definitely. if this happens to me... You're an hour from taking the engine out right now. Yeah. Not and even. you didn't even have to do all of that to take the engine out, you know? No, you had to pull the front end off. Yeah, for sure. you think you could yeah, the sure. faster than getting to this state right now? In this exact car, no. Really? It's annoying to pull this? Well, it's just like if it's the nicer, like newer it is, the easier it is. Like all the shit underneath is just breaking stuff loose. And... Yeah. You can so, end your video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. If you like this video, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs>